Wait, there's a special we missed. Much Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Day, Wait, we missed a spectrum, dude. No shot we missed one. I feel like in my household, my opinion is not valid and it will never be valid as long as I live. My parents will yell at me, they'll get mad at me and we'll get into like such large arguments. It's even gotten to the point of one time where I've gotten into arguments with my parents with like, you're gonna have to move out if you don't like agree with these things. Why so loud? Why? I've sent or re Okay, the title is Does all Gen Z think the same? Gen Z stands for what is it? Zoomers? Oh my god, guys, this is gonna be a disaster. I've sent or received nudes. Oh god. Three, have to this? two, one, go. Uh, one. <laughs> Girl. I mean, like. If one day I want to get a certain job or go into a political office, I just don't ever want to have somebody to hold that against me. Even when people send me nudes, I'm like, I didn't necessarily need that. Like, wait, pics when they're just, wait, wait, wait. you know? Are we saying nudes? Nudes. <laughs> Should oh we start my over? god, I thought we were saying nudes. N E W S. Nudes. nudes. I'm okay. so sorry. What? I don't send nudes because I just do things on social media. I want to pursue acting. I feel like my body's a temple. You gotta pay to see it, if at least. Same as Daniel said, it can come back and bite you. I'm just scared. Go Revenge porn is very real, and I think most women or women adjacent people have received um, unsolicited pics. As like a bisexual person and kind of just being in like a world that's hyper-sexualized already. And it sucks because that's kind of like the age of social media and like LGBTQ youth is that pretty much like they have to seek validation online. That's like really like the way to do it. I agree exactly with what Makai said. I mean, it is like the form of validation now, like sending nudes is love, but which this hurts. makes me just want to, so, yeah. this makes me just want to jump over it because I feel like I'm in the wrong area. You know, we're going to go here. If you like, they should respect your values if you don't want to send nudes. And if they, if not, like, it's pretty clear to me that they're just using me for my body. Nudes has a lot to do with appearance and putting a lot of value on how you appear can just, just No, it doesn't. To pick that is not what that, it's, a, it's what? really important to. Wait, okay. The, no, no, that, that has nothing to do with it. Nudes has a lot to do with appearance and putting a lot of value on how you appear can just just sometimes be damaging. To piggyback off that, it's really important too, like when you're growing up, no matter like your body type or how you look, everyone has like beauty in them. So it's important to love your body and love like how you look because like, girl, that's your body. Like flaunt what you got, boo. That validation needs to come from within, not from other people. Cause like, I know I'm sexy. I don't even know if else I'm sexy. So, um, period poo. Uh, <laughs> is that going in? <laughs> Skinny jeans are out of style. <laughs> Three, two, oh. one, go. No, they're not. Yeah. I don't know. It was just the era of the time. It was like rock was like, you know, pop rock, lots of skinny jeans, and then it turned into like ripped jeans. And I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this guy talking about style? Motherfucker. Dude, this guy's wearing his dad's jacket with like some fucking whatever that is, man. With some non matching hat. And it, dude, are getting what the fuck is this? Like, Maybe we're shifting like, more like, like androgyny. I just, I'm, I'm over here because I think that's skinny jeans. I don't like them. Guys, guys, this guy went to cre character creation and he clicked random. Motherfucker, I would wear look at this guy. Like chicken legs. So he, like, that's he's talking about fashion. Out of style or in style? The question was skinny jeans are out of style. Yeah. Oh, so I'm saying that they are in style? Yes, yeah, skinny jeans oh, are Oh, no, style. they're out of style. Uh, I recently bought my like first pair of like baggier jeans, kind of like what he's wearing, and I was like blown away, honestly. Like there's so much space. You don't have to worry about it like bunching up and stuff. Like there's yeah, I don't know why we ever stuck with skinny jeans to begin with. I think the whole skinny jeans side part thing is generational politics that are trying to like distract us from what we actually disagree about. Like nobody actually cares about the skinny jeans and middle parts. Like millennials, please stop making songs about it. It's not that deep. I get my news from Wait, YouTube. wait, wait. She, she says it's not that deep, but she's the one who brought up that it's linked with politics or whatever? Huh? It's about it. It's not that deep. I get my news from YouTube. Three, two, one, go. I just somewhat disagree. Because well, that, I try not to bro, just, you know, stay on YouTube because it can 
be a lot of disinformation, but I also feel like, you know, I follow a lot of political YouTubers and I feel like their perspectives are different than what's on the mainstream because like three corporations own all of the media. Social news, Twitter, 100% easily. But like if it's like some political stuff, I have like subscriptions to like New York Times, even Fox and stuff, just so that I get a perspective from everyone. And I tend to go ahead and like focus more on like the journalism stuff and YouTube is like the headlines but I don't click the video and like deliberately watch it until I've known the facts. The ability of Twitter no to get you know no, opinions no out there from people who aren't political pundits um, is really valuable and you know when when big things happen Twitter that, usually bullshit. hears that first. Okay. I feel like it kind of nobody's visible enough that they're gonna see a video and they're getting all the info fed that or whatever they see the, the, the thumbnail the, the link the, the 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 whole and oh oh I'm gonna go read first about it. Oh, come on. It just comes man. down to like a media literacy thing, no and it's something shots. that like our generation and further generations are gonna have to face. We haven't been in this era where there's like, which, what Sarah was saying about like the democratized way of social media where like everyone can say information. We're like in this new era where we pretty much have to learn how to decipher which is valuable and valid information and what's not. And like as social media continues to grow, I feel like we're just gonna keep becoming more literate. And I feel like we should be taught this in schools. We're a whole new era, like we grew up with like tablets and laptops, whereas in like previous generations didn't, which allows us obviously to have more diverse opinions, but I think that should be taught in school as well. Do your guys' parents ever just call you and be like, did you know this happened? And you're like, yeah, it happened like five hours ago. And you were like, did you just find out now? It's okay. usually I'm, fake news with my mom. Oh my it's gosh. It's usually fake news with my mom. She gets yeah. news from Facebook. Same. Literally same. she calls same. me and she's like, did yeah. you hear about this? Like mom, that's right. Yeah. And she's like, it yeah. is. Yeah. Like my mom, when she was on Instagram, she just was like, she was seeing the wrong stuff. And then she was like, you know, the vaccine, the, those microchips. And I was like, mom. I think it's also important to think about like why people believe that. Like, yeah, it's like stupid and it's funny to make fun of, but like people are afraid of like, you know, really rich people who are going to be like controlling a lot of stuff without, you know, democratic elections and without any accountability. And it makes sense that people would feel like, you know, I don't really know if I can trust the government. My parents and I agree on political and social issues. No Three, shot. two, one, go. Oh, that's very mixed. My parents like raised me again on the whole thing of like, look at every single side. And I guess it didn't go necessarily their way, but at the same time, like sometimes it ends up being a wreck, but like whenever it's a wreck, we come back and we're like, I see your point, but here's what I think and here's why loaded with facts, not just like, oh, I think this, cause this and this and this X and X and said, no, it's because this is a percentage, this is a statistic that I'm pointing out. Honestly, I used to try and like show them a different perspective facts. and like have an open conversation, but like, I'm kind of at the point now where it's like, you know what, let's just not talk about it. It's probably for the best. You know, my parents always say to me, like, you pay attention to politics more than we do, and we, like, learn from you. And sometimes we get into little arguments. That can be a good, like, way to sort of inform each other, well, because obviously they have more experience, kind of, you know. like, historically, like, what went on. But they can also say, like, yeah, I don't understand, you know, this specific issue. Can you, you know, get me up to speed? And um, I would like to have a disclaimer for my mom and dad. What's coming out of my mouth is coming out through love. Also, if they're watching this, please stop watching watching this. My parents are very close-minded and conservative and there have been fights as in Daniel's family. I feel like in my household my opinion is not valid and it will never be valid as long as I live. I don't I don't want to be quiet about the things and I want to speak up and share my opinion but when it comes to that my parents will yell at me, they'll get mad at me and we'll get into like such large arguments. It's even gotten to the point of one time where I've gotten into arguments with my parents with like you're gonna have to move out if you don't like agree with these things. And it's like I understand what you're saying and all but you're telling me that if I don't do what you're saying, what you think is correct, I'm not allowed to think what I think is correct because what you think is correct is concrete. It's kind of similar but different. Like I've, I'm actually grateful that my parents and I have different political opinions because I think it's kind of forced me to try and see the other side and try to understand why they think a certain way. Sometimes those disagreements are fundamental to your identity. Like they say a lot about how you look at the world, how you treat other people, and it's hard to separate that. I don't want to be friends with someone who thinks that like people who are poor or unhoused people or do that because it's their choice. Because that's a fundamental disagreement with what I believe. That's fair, but also family, I feel like is different. They're immigrants, um, they didn't, there are certain issues that they won't you know, fully understand. Yes, it would be nice if they try to. It's very different with it, like friends or like your parents, your exactly. family. Exactly, yes. 
I agree 100% with Daniel. My parents came from Romania. It was communist at that point, so their views on the world are not going to be the same as everyone's as like they were, you know? So it changes because where you come from is so different okay. from America. I have felt depressed. Three, two, one, go. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> There, is our, there are a lot of points where it is romanticized, and I think that's a, that's a, con it's a difficult struggle. And also, I think like within like the black community, there's just, there also is just not a lot of attention to mental health at all. Obviously, there's points where I feel flustered, and I feel like, oh, like everything's crumbling around me, and that's like a very Guys, common human I thing. People want to talk about how depressed they are until you're like, hey, I haven't taken a shower in four weeks, and I can't get out of bed, and I haven't been eating food, and they're like, ew, that's gross. It's like, that's what depression is. Especially with our generation, what ends up happening is that some small thing happens and we're depressed. The term is just used so loosely. When you say comments like that, it takes away the power, in a sense, from like people that actually are seeking help. So I'm about to have a really vulnerable- uh, Guys, she, um, she's pretty spot on about this, I think. I think, I think, I think that was good. I think, I think sometimes um, when, you, when words are used too loosely, uh, it, it can discredit uh, uh, people that are experiencing like the, like the real thing. I, I think sometimes some people, uh, uh, I, I, if, I, if I say something that is true, people are, are, are gonna use it against me, whatever I feel like. It, this is just something that I, I, I wish it's not gonna come out bad. It, it's okay to feel sad sometimes. So, so, sometimes it happens that you're sad and you'll feel sadness. It's actually really healthy, I think. You know, momentary, sad, that, you know, it, it's just part of things or whatever, but sometimes, you know, when these things are, are used too loosely, uh, it kind of widens like like a, a depression or whatever. It can di uh, uh, discredit and... Uh, ...terrible moment with y'all. You know what so I'm going my with whole this. life, I have been so bullied and words hurt so much. And six months ago, I almost took my life because of like, like words, um, they have this uh, effect on you, and sometimes you can't talk to people about it. <laughs> and I, my friend's mom posted, uh, chat. if you need to talk to someone, to call this number, and I talked to them, and I spoke to them on the phone for two hours by myself at nighttime. <laughs> and if it wasn't for her just doing that. Gu guys, I, I had to close the chat. I, I, guys, I, I can't, I can't in good faith Watch somebody cry while reading fucking Twitch chat. I can't fucking do it, dude. Uh, hey guys, it's just, it's not, it's not right. I have been here today. <laughs> I wanna Can I give you a hug? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That takes ah, a lot of dude. time got to speak up about it. My whole life, I've wanted to show kindness through me and I hope that I do show kindness to others because I don't want other people to feel the same way I felt because if I can help someone feel that smile or <laughs> that joy for me, it would make, it would mean everything to me because it means that I'm fighting what other people did to me. I don't really like it when people like compare their depressions because like, you know, saying like someone else is not depressed because you don't really know what they like feel. But I'm really glad that people are like talking about it now and that we can all like <laughs> bond over it. I th I'm truly thinking that like the pressure that's put on our generation with social media is what like causes it. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that like people talk about it so we have resources and stuff. I am optimistic about the future. <laughs> Three, two, one. I am optimistic about the future. Somebody in the chat didn't want to say they, they wasn't they didn't want to say his thought because you know it's bad to say. But he just put he just he just put but who much <laughs> So we have resources and stuff. I am optimistic about the future. Three Two, one, go. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Personally, it's in my nature to not be optimistic because I think a lot of people in our generation are very nihilistic. I try not to like view it like that because it's very like deterministic. Like, well, the world's going to hell, like we can't do anything. And if you believe that, then like you're not fighting for like a better world and you're not fighting for change. I'm very much with Sarah on the point where our generation is very cynical, very nihilistic. We like to just like assume that things can't be fixed because in the past they just never were. I don't know, I think I'm very optimistic for the future because I believe as we become more educated and we have more resources to certain things and information, we can do great things, but we just have to believe that we can or else it won't happen. Now I'm feeling sad okay, about saying someone thing. would disagree. I just was thinking about this in like the climate perspective and like social media, how it's been used so negatively. Um, when I think about those two major things, I can't see it stopping anywhere. It's a little unimaginable. It's like, you can't, yeah, no, like I want to be positive, yeah. of course, and I want the change to happen, but like, like, where does it start? I try to be positive and I try to, I always say like, if there's something you don't like, we can work on it and fix it. And I think that this generation in particular is really good at that. Like Gen Z is crazy. Like we get things done. The impact we've had with like TikTok even, like, yeah, we, we changed a lot of things. I feel like we have come far as a society, but that doesn't mean I'm also not disappointed in our society. Society. There's so many things that we fix it, and I think when I try to, I always say like, if there's something you don't like, we can work on it and fix it. And I think that this generation wait, wait in particular is really good at that. Like Gen Z is crazy. Like we get things done. The impact we've had with like TikTok, even like. Wait, wait. People think that they, they get shit done. Uh, I, yeah, I, we we changed a I, lot of I, things. I feel like I'm gonna get we have come far as a society, but that doesn't mean I'm also not disappointed in our society. There's so many things that we've gotten to like build upon as a society and people are growing upon as a society. And you know what? After like meeting you guys today, I'm not gonna lie. Hold it, this is. I feel like there's hope. On a more societal point of view, I feel very good that like change will occur whether we like it or not. That's just how society is. We so progress. Is like that is officially is gonna, gonna a wrap. Great job, guys. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Does that have to be like a moment? Like, is it a moment? Can we be like single can we like, can we be oh, holding hands? Okay. <laughs> but I look so <laughs> awkward. Wait, 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 can we all like catwalk off? As a group, they're like, oh. they're like, oh. <laughs> Five, six, I seven, eight. <laughs> I wasn't over, guys. I'm just I mean, like Oh, jeez. Ten pong pong. Oh, my. Oh, it ends, chat. That was the end of it. My goodness. Phew! Wow, that was something else.